Hello my beautiful people, it is Raphael from Radiant Reality, it's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. As per usual, I have my trusty notes and my board. Um, so today, what are we doing today? Today we are delving into life path number two. So this is the second one, or the third one, depending on which way you look at it, in the series. We're going through the numbers of numerology, what their powers and their attributes are, and what we can learn from it to go through it and you know, in, in a more in-depth way, rather than just skimming the surface as to what these numbers mean. So um, if you would like to book any kind of personal tarot readings with me, you can do so on the website address below. And with all that said, I would like to bless my notes and all forms of information that come through with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So the number two, the number two, what is it all about? Well, in you know as i said before in the power of numerology video if you haven't seen it check it out um it will give you some background if you don't know what your life path is check out that how to calculate your birth uh, or life path or destiny number um video it's really short and it's really really easy and it's actually really fun um okay so the life path number two so as i mentioned in that video um each number is a response or uh, a reaction or a, a um, yeah a response or a reaction to the number that precedes it so the number two indifference to number one is all about acceptance it's all about balance the number two is very much about harmony as well um, and the reason it's about harmony is because when you've got one uh, you know, it's very much about I. When you've got the number two, we're talking about we, you and me, us. Um, you know, these are all taglines for the number two. And so I've split this into the lessons, the blessings and the lessons. And, you know, in every experience that we have in life, uh, there is always a blessing and a lesson. And that's, you know, ultimately the two go hand in hand. So it's the two go hand in hand. So it's about learning to understand and traverse those experiences for your highest good. So the blessings, acceptance. Um, the number two, because it is, and again, I don't assize, assign gender to anything I don't buy into all that stuff it's divisive by its very nature um, <laughs> divisive number two uh, interesting um, so the number two and acceptance the number two has a lot of feminine qualities to it so indifference in stark difference or response to the masculine uh, projectile force of the one you have the accepting or the yielding nature of the number two and so therefore the number two life path is somebody that's going to be very accepting somebody that's going to be really accommodating they care deeply for other people they have a, a very caring nature um, you know, just by being who they are, they always seek to balance things. You know, if you're a life path two, very often life path twos, um, the first thing that they seem to need to balance is their parental relationship. They will be the outside sort of party looking at that, you know, that relationship as a young person or any sort of relationship that's close to them, even if it's not their parents, they'll be looking at this and they will very often, even at a young age, play mediator. And that's what kind of gives them this really strong firm basis of relationships we'll get to that um, and they look at it and they say right okay well I don't ever want to be one of those two types of extremes so I'm going to learn how to balance these things out I'm going to learn how to um, how to mediate between these two things dependence life to life path number two um, one of the, the, the things that they, uh, they naturally exude and offer the world is an ability to be relied upon, is an ability to be, um, you know, dependable. So when I say dependence, it's not necessarily, um, you know, that they want everybody to depend on them, but they are naturally very, you know, you can lean on these people and they won't give way. You can, you know, that's one of the beauties and the lessons of the, of the blessing. <laughs> Of, of the number two life path support number two life path loves to give support loves to offer um, a caring and ultimately a beautiful number for being able to listen to people being able to guide people being able to be a sounding board for people for them to get their ideas and their feelings and their thoughts out number twos are naturally um, predisposed to people wanting to speak to them wanting to divulge things to them sometimes to the other person's 
sort of like, I don't know why I feel to talk to you about this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Kindness, the number two life path is deeply kind, very warm, very open, very, um, you know, very, very giving of, of spirit, really, really very giving of spirit. Um, diplomacy so yeah you know I talked about this and playing the diplomat and um, being you know life path number twos do that really really well they have this natural air about them where they're able to see this person's point and they're able to see that person's point and they're actually able to really help everybody see what is in the middle ground or what should be the middle ground so the number twos you know they do that naturally and also number two life path people with this energy tend to be very very loyal you know like I said in stark difference and contrast to the number one um, the you know the number two naturally is very loyal is predisposed to that and you know and and seeks that out as well you know but again like this sort of glance at uh, difficult or challenging relationships and understanding that's not what I want or want to be um, it's the same with the loyalty. They tend to, in the early years or the unawakened periods of their time, they tend to attract people that aren't very loyal. And so therefore, in stark difference to that experience, they choose to do and be and express better than that. So the lessons, what are the lessons? So loyalty comes as a second one. You know, I was just talking about that. Sharing, why is sharing a lesson? Um, the reason I, I've put this one down is because very often they will share to their own detriment. And this is what I talk about, you know, when I say the unawakened or the younger years. In those periods of time, they will give and give and give to the point where they naturally just deplete themselves. And so one of the things that they need to learn are the boundaries of when is it right to share and when is it right, not, you know, and when is it right to, to not share. And also the other thing about that as well, they tend to have this lesson in terms of trust of, you know, one of the things is they always want to step in to help people. They always want to step in to make things better. And one of the experiences that they're here to transcend, one of the, you know, the reasons they've picked this life path as a, a lesson is to, um, is to not go above and beyond what people actually need. You know, sometimes there's this, this want and this need to override what somebody can do for themselves and then therefore people kind of get dependent on you um, you know so even that in itself it's a good thing in small doses or in moderate doses but when it's unawakened or unconscious it, it you know it can lead to having trust issues because you tend to attract the type of people that are not very trustworthy they see you as a soft touch or as a pushover and that's one of the lessons of the life path two to work through and past uh, number two is the, one of the lessons of the number two is to slow things down to take your time to work through things at a pace that is good for me at a pace is good for you and the interesting thing as a response I mean the life path number one is straight out of the bat the life path number two even if they're faster than the person they want to bring forward with them they will naturally slow it down uh, the only the reason I've put this down as a lesson is don't hold yourself back as a life path two. don't hold yourself back for other people to catch up um, and the reason I say that is because again sometimes they can get dependent on the fact that well you know they'll wait for me um, so it's kind of that the difference between love and friendship now <clears throat> Number twos, big buzzword I've, I've only mentioned a couple of times specifically up until now. The number twos are all about relationship. In order to have a relationship, you have to have balance true balance in order to have a good happy prosperous relationship for both parties involved you need to have a balance you know a real a real balance whatever that might be um, and you know for the life path too because they love being in relationships they love sharing with people um, you know it, there can be sometimes a tendency to if you see someone as a, as a friend there can be this tendency to want to go above and beyond that and be like I love them and it's like it's one of the lessons that comes with the life path number two is learning the difference between um, platonic and um, I can't remember there's a, the other well you know the difference between friendships and love and learning the difference and being okay with what the difference of those two things and those two experiences 
are because ultimately ultimately the energy is exactly the same but how it's expressed and what the relationship is supposed to naturally develop into sometimes is very different and you know relationships as a lesson and I should have put that here as well um you know relationships as a lesson and relationships as a blessing number two is we can learn so much about relating to people sharing with people about balancing things out about looking for and finding harmony um you know these are things that they naturally do very very well so the uh m the moon is the planet associated with a life path number two so number twos will be very sensitive to the moon for sure um the colors of uh, the life path number two um, a lot of people att attribute green to this but for me it's more the silvers the blues the purples and the lightish you know like the really light spectrum of pink where it becomes sort of purple um, those are the colors that i like to att attribute to the life path number two um, and crystals or gemstones for the life path number two moonstone is a wonderful stone for the life path number two they get a lot of warmth out of it opal as well you know like the the glistening sort of and it sh changes different blues and greens and aquas and pinks opal is beautiful for the life path number two as well so i've got my trusty notes here just in case i've missed anything life path number twos tend to be very honest and very sincere they naturally want to help people they naturally care for people it's inbuilt into who they are um, oh, and rose quartz as well as another crystal for this. Um, so very caring and very spiritual and tend to see the best in people. And I've put that underneath, um, you know, start, they start out to trust in and they need to learn to take things, uh, need to learn to take things not so personally. And this is one of the, the other things about the life path number two, because they care so deeply there's almost an expectation for other people to care so deeply as well. And unfortunately, that isn't necessarily life or the experience we will have. Um, you know, so it's a brilliant number for that. Uh, lots of healthcare and medical professionals um, you find with life path number two as well, believe it or not. Natural team players, and they tend to take the slack in any situation. And that is very, very true of number twos. Um, so yeah some extra bits here collaborators natural collaborators absolutely they practice uh, need to practice patience and time and also they're very very de detail orientated number twos have like a real you know they're really good at looking at the fine print and you know because of this natural inbuilt patience that they have um, they are able to pour over the details even more so so some of the jobs and vocations for a life path number two and I've got healthcare professionals, self-help, uh, nursing, counselling, because of this ability to reach in from a deep, you know, caring place and help people see both sides of an argument. Um, for that same reason, lawyers and diplomats, um, people in insurance brokering, believe it or not, because, you know, they make really good mediators and it's like, okay, well, what's the middle ground here? Um, marriage counsellors, wonderful. Uh, anything communications based, really. Um, booking agents is a good one. I like that for you guys. And facilitators, anything where you are in a, a role of facilitation, you know, bridging the gap between people and knowledge, bridging the gap between um, what people, you know, what people want and what people need. You know, and in that way, not only do they make great healers as well, and you'll start to see the trend. All the numbers carry a, a, a pattern of healing. They just express that, that energy different and they are able to teach us, you know, whatever their unique approach to healing happens to be. And that's the beauty that I love about numerology. It's, that's what makes it special. So um, that is about as much as I have. Um, I'm really, really loving your comments in all of these. I really hope they speak to you. I really hope you can feel how passionate I am about this. Um, I really hope that you get something from it. And you know, if you're a life path number two, 
um, you know, be kind to yourself as well as everybody else because, you know, you're, you're already naturally disposed to being kind to everybody else. So exercise some of that for yourself. Um, and it's a wonderful number, it really is. We can all learn something from every single life path. So I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance itself. Have an amazing time, whatever you do, whatever the month, whatever the year that you are watching this video, I really hope it speaks to you in some way. Take care and I'll see you very soon for the rest of the series.